So my inspiration with this piece kind of comes from the age of information overload and all of the digital technology. I think I've been noticing since I've been pregnant that we've, bec as a society, I feel like we're becoming a little bit more into ourselves and forgetting about the world around us. I've, I live in Chicago and riding the train, I'm noticing it's hard to get a seat. And I thought it was, you know, people are just really rude. And then I started looking around and realizing everyone has their head in their phones. And so it got me thinking about this whole idea of Facebook and the way we're just so connected to our smartphones that we've started to kind of lose touch with human beings and the, the ability to interact. So I would say it's definitely an abstract work, but it's very much inspired by that concept. Um, and there's subtle hints of that throughout the piece. It's a dream working with the Cincinnati Ballet. Um, just the ability to work with professional dancers that have this type of training and do this on a regular basis, it's been an absolute pleasure. And they bring so much to the work, and I think they're challenging me in new ways. I teach college, so I work a lot with students, which is also an incredible feeling, but to have these professional dancers in the room has just been amazing. And Cincinnati Ballet has just been so hospitable. Like, the first day I got here, we were talking about lighting, they provided me with costumes immediately. I already have my set in the studio for rehearsal, so it's been awesome. So Heather and I, Heather, Amy and I all went to SCPA. So I know them from high school. They were ahead of me a little bit, but I was actually in one of Amy Sywert's very first works at SCPA. Um, and it was some rock and roll band. I can't remember what the music was. So Heather and Amy were kind of my idols when I was at SCPA. I loved watching them rehearse and perform. And then Jessica Lang and I were both at Juilliard at the same time. Jessica was a senior when I was a freshman. So I watched her perform. She was another one of my favorite dancers. And then she, I saw her kind of go on to Twyla Tharp. So I know all three of them, which is kind of funny. Being pregnant, I have to say it's a very different feeling now to be in the studio because I'm not as physical. So I've had one of my former students is here with me assisting me, Philip Elson, that it, without him, this piece probably wouldn't be possible just because he's been doing actual physical labor while I've been watching and directing. And um, so it's a different experience to be, not to be in my body in the same way that I'm used to when I'm choreographing. Um, and it's kind of nice because I feel like it helps keep me a little bit more, I, I'm able to direct a little bit more and see things more clearly because I think I generally like to be in the mix and moving around. and. So it's kind of forcing me to sit still and watch. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's a very different experience this time. The thing that I love about Paige Cunningham's work is uh, she had a very um, unique history. She danced with Merce Cunningham. And if you've ever seen his work, in a way it's almost mathematical. He does these really unique uh, coordination, physical coordinations. They're like formulas, you know, sometimes not really totally connected. And so her work has this real kind of, it's a little bit quirky, but really fascinating and interesting. And, um, and you can see that the use of the ballet vocabulary is really clear, really interesting silhouettes and little formulas of, of the look and the style of the body.